Hey, everybody. This is Brandon McCaskill. Welcome to the Safari Ari Roadshow. We have Ari here with us. Ari, how are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm in Seattle, so I'm doing exceptionally, that's right. exceptionally well. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, I'm in Seattle. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, I could, you know what? Yesterday went, like I flew yesterday. Yeah. And it went a million times more smoother than I anticipated. I really? Like, I mean... Well, I just, with the current climate and everything, just mm -hmm. with COVID and everything, I just, you just don't know, right? No. And uh, <clears throat> I had a lot of gear to box up yeah. and it was like, we're weighing the boxes up, my host, and it just, uh, the weight was just, obviously it was very heavy and I was just like so worried about everything. Not, sorry, I shouldn't say I was so worried, but it was just like, it was just like, I was, I was preparing for the worst kind of deal. Right. And anyways, uh, yesterday went as smooth as possible. Basically, Bob, oh, Bob, Bob Dines, Bob and his wife, Diane, were my 55th host crossing Canada. They were my very last host. Right. I actually stayed in Vancouver for basically a week um, because I was trying to get on top of some travel insurance kind of deal. Mm. And so that I ran into a few snags, but Anyways, I'll just sort of backtrack. I mean, like as far as my, like they actually, Bob actually picked me up at the ferry. So he saved me like a 60 kilometer bike ride, oh, which okay. I mean, hey, I was done Canada. So it's not like I had to bike anymore. <laughs> so it's like, so yeah. yeah, he's like, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. And it's like, all right, whatever. Sure. And oh, so he cool. like, but anyways, yeah. Oh no. Cause then he drove me around to get like for getting my bike boxed up and then trying to find a box for my trailer. Cause my trailer, like, is like, a lot of my screws are so seized up i can't take things apart anymore because right. there's so much rust and so i couldn't i was hoping to put my trailer in, a, in like a hockey bag but that wasn't going to work so i had to get a box and that's a big size box to try to track down so he drove me all around for everything like that but anyways uh, i packed <laughs> all that stuff up he brought me to the airport yesterday um morning or well more like lunchtime say and uh he actually came into the airport with me because i had two massive boxes which saved me a whole lot of trouble because those airport carts are not meant to uh, just push. You got to push yeah. down and then push. So uh, that was so amazingly helpful. And anyways, like, yeah, like, uh, so, you know, in regards to like, like my bike box was like close to 90 pounds. So I was mm -hmm. charged a hundred bucks for overweight, oversized there. My trailer, they only charged 30 bucks, which was like 50 pounds in that box. Yeah. And then they didn't charge me for the other checked uh, bag. So the guy says, oh, oh, don't worry about that one. We, we, won't, we won't worry about that one. So that was nice. And um, so, uh, oh yeah. And then like, oh no, we just went through the x-ray kind of deal and uh, no real problems there. And then uh, <clears throat> went through US customs. But this is the weird thing. Like, I don't know if something changed, but like when I used to fly to Belize and there's always a layover in the US, mm -hmm. you had to go through US customs in Toronto yeah. And then when you landed wherever you went through U S customs again. Right. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, like, I don't know, like that was how I've always flown through the U S is going through customs twice. Anyways, there's like no lineup, hmm. got right to customs. The guy was like, no problems whatsoever, uh, which I didn't think there'd be problems on his end. Cause it's not like I had my luggage or anything like that. He just, yeah. he, he saw the photos of my, because I guess it was interesting because when he scanned my boarding pass, the photos of my bike boxes came through and he saw the trailer box. And he's like, what's that? I said, oh, that's my trailer kind of deal. Yeah. Uh, Cause yeah, I told him I was just, yeah, I just finished biking across Canada and I was basically heading South. Yeah. And so he was like, wow, great. Uh, have a great day kind of deal. And, that, and then that was it. And so anyways, so loaded up, no problem. And you know, the flight from Vancouver to Seattle, it was basically like, it hits cruising altitude and like two seconds later, it's like, all right, we're about to land, <laughs> you know? And so anyways, so disembark and, and then go get to the luggage. And basically my, everything was cool. Um, no damage whatsoever to any of my stuff. And it's like, the thing is, is I'm, I'm at the place where you, where you you collect your luggage yeah. and it's like the exit doors right there. And I'm oh, like, really? Well, hold on a sec. Well, where's the other customs? Like, where's the guy that's going to ask me like, what am I doing here? And, and what's all this luggage you have with you? You know what I mean? It's like, no, nope, we, we don't weird. want that. We don't want that in America. You go back to camp. You know? Yeah. I was like, like, I was just like, there's the exit. It's like, like, is this my escape? I don't, it's so weird. Wow. Like I've never gone only through customs once. And I don't know if that's a whole change or I don't know. Cause it's been a yeah, while since I experienced like, too. Well, I don't, whatever, but I just, I'm just so used to going through customs twice. And, and it was like, yeah. there was the exit door. So I actually, I feel like I'm on the lamp. I feel like I've escaped. 
and they're, and they're going to come <laughs> track me down because anyways, last night, well, it took me about an hour. It took me about an hour to put my bike all back together um, yeah. at the airport. And then I just pedaled away. And then basically I went and found something to eat. And then I found, found some groceries though. When I realized I was going to make breakfast this morning that I don't have any, I don't have a butane for my lighter. Um, oh. And I don't have any, I don't have any way to start my stove. I realized because oh, no. can't bring that stuff on the plane. Right. So yeah. So I have to, yeah. So I have a dozen eggs, but I can't eat them. So anyways, um, yes. Yeah, so I only pedaled like 17. Well, by the time I basically, by the time I left the airport, it was basically dark. Um, yeah. I got some ch real challenges with the 6 p.m. getting dark kind of deal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I, that's the thing is I was awake wide awake at 6 a.m., but it's too early. It's too cold. And, and I, it's like, so I fall asleep and then I wake up. It's like 930. It's like, <laughs> uh, crap. Right, uh, yeah. But yeah, that was one thing I noticed because I really haven't camped in about two weeks. Uh, I think it only got to three degrees. So it wasn't really that cold last night, but it's yeah. like definitely a chill in the air. Um so it's like, I definitely got to move south. But anyway, so yeah, so I pedaled only like 17 kilometers last night, which obviously isn't that far. There's, there's a ferry, I believe, and I believe it's still working that way because yeah. that way is west towards the coast. And it's not like the coast is there. Is there's, there's an inlet or something that you can take a ferry across. And I believe that it's still open okay. for the year. I don't think it's seasonal, but anyways, so I'm, I'm going to head over there to take a ferry and then that's going to kind of get me out of the, the greater Seattle area. Yeah. But anyways, like, anyways, I found a very unusual, like, I don't know if you can see in the background, actually, I haven't yeah. even, I came here in the dark. I was, I'm in actually a residential area. There's completely, there's houses all around me yeah. and I was on this street and I see this massive tank and I assume it's for water, but I have no idea because it was dark. And I thought, I bet you I could hide behind there and camp. So I actually <laughs> I haven't even. Boat. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, I, so I haven't even actually walked out here in the daylight yet. Yeah. Um, and there's no sign to say what it is, but you can sort of see, like, there's the houses behind me now. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. And so there's this massive tank, like, hmm. right in the middle of a residential oh, area so you can see there's houses behind me there yeah and there's houses behind me there so huh. um <clears throat> anyways because i thought sometimes like because yeah i don't know like i said i saw it in the dark yeah. and uh it's like mm -hmm. i bet you there's nothing behind there and so sure enough that's that's like yeah works for me and i just as you recall i'm just about uh, 90 percent um uh packed up my uh my uh camp i like, guess yeah. so actually you can oh, sort yeah. of see i'll just do this so yeah <laughs> there's this br brick wall <clears throat> and there's trees over here cool. and uh anyway yeah there it is i was just yeah about 90 percent packed up my camp nice. and so yeah so i mean <laughs> last night first night in seattle when as smooth as can be expected i can't believe how smooth yesterday went okay. um so yeah i'm excited i'm excited and then yeah hopefully within uh, an hour or two like Oh, I'm already at low battery. Yeah, power. I lost your feed. Oh, oh there you are. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm at, yeah. So, wow, that drain. You know, it might be the cold because my battery was ninety. Oh. My battery was ninety percent when we started. Yeah. So I think I just got to charge it in for about two seconds and it'll pop up back up. But anyways, battery. yeah, low battery mode. So All Seattle's right. great. Awesome. Well, not that I'm. I'm out of here. I'm out of Seattle. So yeah. Um, yeah so I guess we'll just <laughs> we'll, we'll just call it a, a call it a uh a day or a video here right now i'm actually right. just gonna plug yeah, this good, yeah. in um all right thanks guys for watching uh his battery's done <laughs> so we're saying so long for now and we'll uh keep you updated with where he's at next thanks for joining us bye now